Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. The next topic is reading mathematics and algorithms. So as I we as I as we have discussed last three topics are uh, reading uh, uh, creative critical reading and creative reading and then we discussed about taking notes uh, those are continuous and the similarly this topic is also a continuous that is reading mathematics and algorithms so again well, whatever we spoke about critical reading and creative reading same thing comes here but we are explaining in mathematics and algorithms so why mathematics and algorithms because nowadays we know that engineering means obviously we know that engineering itself means is the application of mathematics right so what is the difference between science and or engineering or uh, technology science is nothing but a theoretical knowledge or what you know scientifically and whereas technology or engineering is application of scientific knowledge in order to get some applications okay in some practical applications or to solve some particular pr practical problem so in that in uh, except biology most of the all uh, almost all of the engineering branches mathematics is must but in biology also we cannot avoid because in biology or biotechnology or biomedical engineering or any fields which are related to the bio science biological sciences requires mathematics too how because even though we know that usually when you go for uh, any um, health checkup or if hospital and you know, all the first thing they do is they will check your bp again what is this bp again blood pressure again pressure came into a picture in a physics that means that has to be solved is that measured in terms of mathematics right so again the formulas are very important and these mathematical formulations plays a very important role in in almost all engineering field not only the bp if i if, if you are going to see the any number of tests you will find out a number of mathematics i mean mathematical involvement is involved not only that even the technique on the tools and techniques or the devices what we use for scanning purposes like for we are having a, for example we are having ct scan or maybe x-ray everything is built of based on the mathematical models right so mathematics is often a foundation of new advances so for evolution and the development of the engineering research and practices so it plays a very important role so an engineering researcher generally cannot avoid mathematical derivations or proofs as a part of research or definitely for a, you cannot simply avoid some mathematical derivations or proofs just because you don't like mathematics that cannot be done in research if it is important for your research you have to learn it and you have to implement it because even in biotechnology engineering or uh, the biomedical or any biological rela biological uh, related engineering streams do have mathematical uh, uh, subjects like bioprocessing or maybe unit operations or maybe the a number of subjects are there so based on the branch they will be there and by statistics all these things plays a very important role so in fact there are uh, these are these are nothing but like mathematics or these things so, so mathematical formulations or uh, mathematical derivations or proofs they will act as a heart of an any technical paper okay so you can simply cannot simply avoid that therefore one should avoid skimming them if at all that particular mathematical uh, what you say the formulations or proofs are nothing to do with your research then you can avoid but you cannot completely avoid if at all if at all it has got something to do with your paper so by meticulously uh, by sorry by meticulous reading of proofs or algorithms after having identified a relevance of the paper one can develop a sound understanding about the problem that the authors have attempted to solve so once you read the paper thoroughly once you understand the paper you will come to know the what is the depth of this particular this thing and you will also see based on the relevance of the paper right so you can see the sound or a very deep understanding about that particular problem right so however the research may skip the technical sections if it appears to explain something already known for example if somebody is explaining about some gravity you don't you can you don't have to make a note out a note of it because that is very well well known right it is too if it is too advanced for their current research then also you can skip it if you doesn't require about quantum mechanical calculations and all are there quantum logic gates and all or if that is not at all it is concerned about your research you can also skip them or seems highly specialized even if any highly specialized things are there that means it is made only for particular problem and to solve that problem only then also you can skip and also unnecessary for their current project if your project 
has got nothing to do with that mathematical proofs or derivations you can skip so when implementing the intricate algorithms that was about the mathematics now speaking about algorithms so we know algorithms means it is for c programming and we have got c c++ java python nowadays many you know languages are there so every languages run basically there this thing basic uh, skeleton is algorithm so algorithm to implementing algorithm intricate algorithms is plays a very important role in research so this happens uh, this is this is uh, this uh, is requirement for almost all computer science allied branches maybe nowadays aiml is coming in uh, as many colleges have started it and uh, we are having aids and we are having cyber security iot blockchain technology those kind of things okay if you are in doing any research in further you need to take care of this part so even with the confidence in the paper and algorithm coding is quickly to check its functionality is prudent step and as there is a fair chance that it may work as unexpected so uh, it may not be as uh, it may not work as i expected so for example uh, imagine these algorithms all those things play a very important not only for cs allied and allied branches but also for those engineering students who are working on something and which is having some ai assistant now at then most of those do engineering students maybe mechanical engineering students biology engineering biotechnology engineering students they are going for ai driven applications and all in that they have to learn the algorithms they have so it will apply for almost all because nowadays the research is multidisciplinary that means every field is coming together to solve a particular problem very efficiently and effectively so that's why uh, even you cannot simply uh, no you no know, if you are reading if you, if a particular application is there about c then you have to you have to understand the integration or uh, intricate algorithms and you need to check and also the second point what is it trying to see is trying to say is when you are having with the confidence uh, uh, okay even you are having a lot of confidence in the particular paper uh, with the particular algorithm whatever they have mentioned but it is always better to uh it's also uh, you know better to check whether that a particular algorithms are working or not that as uh, because most of the times they might not work as expected so that is also plays a very important role so next we are having reading a data sheet that we will discuss in the next class